I want to learn how to integrate arpeggios and scales in soloing. I'm, um, I, I, when I solo, I tend to do one or the other. I, I, I struggle to combine them in a musical way, I suppose. Okay, first we've got to identify what the problem is. If the problem is a creative one, you're not recalling the ideas, you're not sure what to I'm do. I'm, ne I'm not sure what to do. I, uh, or yeah. if it's a technical challenge, or both. Probably both. Okay. So let's deal with the... Pick one. Want to deal with the creative side or the technical side? Uh, technical. Okay. <laughs> When you get faster, the arpeggio gets sloppier. So what I, want to do, I don't think the problem is technical necessarily. I think it's more with your ear. Okay? So I want you to play it and listen just for the arpeggio. What's this for? Make a little exercise now yeah. where we emphasize the E note. So what, do, what does this exercise do? It, it isolates. isolates the problem. Okay. Right? Okay. Go ahead and try. So when we isolate it, you can pretty much do it, okay? So now, let's go back to the original, and we'll alternate doing this in isolation, yep. okay, in combination with, okay, so now, let's alternate the two. Let's take the isolation part out, and, and we'll do it only one out of four times when we do it, just to confirm that that, e, that note's coming out clear. <laughs> only on the last time that I isolated, just to make, sh just to, to remind ourselves yep. to, that this needs to be clean. Just it's up to confirm, to verify that it's still clean. Okay. okay. Good. So now it's coming together. Okay. Yeah. If, if it gets to the point where it's getting sloppy again, then just go back and just stick that little piece of isolation isolation back in there. Okay.